This expedition to far northeastern Russia to save the spoonbilled sandpiper is one of the most ambitious and challenging expeditions that I know that's ever been undertaken to save a species. The rate at which species are going extinct is something like a thousand times higher today than it would be naturally. We therefore have a responsibility to make sure that we stop species from going extinct. Let's get on the knees this ice walk. Dead spoonbill sandpiper, which was galling to say the least. Not come to it. It's big mine. We are the famous The spoon-billed sandpiper is also one of the rarest and most threatened animals on the planet. Today, we believe that there are fewer than a hundred breeding pairs of spoon-billed sandpipers in existence. So that's declined 90% in a decade. One of the species that has gone extinct is the dodo. We have a responsibility to make sure that another charismatic and very enigmatic bird, the spoonbilled sandpiper, isn't driven the same way. X7 fertile seed. In the new life, it's it's most exciting thing I've seen in my life. That was brilliant. Good morning. Good morning. It's a great day today. I've been out trying to uh, catch insects for feeding the young chicks. That's a lot of mosquitoes, especially. <laughs> I've never been anywhere in my life like this. That was very quick. Very quick. I checked them just minutes ago. We've so got eggs hatching left, right, and centre here. All the essential items are going in. Is the water bottles, the Uh, thank you very much, Rodney. It's all clear. It's uh, sad just to see got you quite attached to them. See them every morning. I wake up, fell asleep every night listening to them call. It's now down to destiny. And we hope that it's a new chapter of the Springfield Sandpiper. This is history in the making, and history takes a little while to happen. Good afternoon, everyone. It's 1.30 and lunch is being served. Now that was a miracle. Spoonbill sandpaper hatching on board a ship. Amazing. That's what survives. 
If something isn't done very soon, this species could well be extinct within the next five to ten years. I'm Nigel Jarrett, Head of Conservation Breeding at WWT and I want to say thank you to our members and visitors and other supporters who've helped us buy some time for Spoonbill Sandpiper. The Spoonbill Sandpiper will become extinct without your support. So far we've managed to do three things. We've built this fantastic new state-of-the-art breeding centre. We've been to Russia, we've collected eggs and we've hatched chicks. You've just seen the phenomenal expedition in the film just now. And thirdly, we've been able to solve some of the problems on the wintering grounds. However, we need to continue with our work. We need to go back to Russia and collect more eggs and hatch more chicks to increase the population size. And we need to work harder on the wintering grounds where we can solve the problems of poaching and habitat destruction. We know we can do this. We can do this with your support. With your support, we can stop the extinction of Spoonbill Sandpiper. And no matter how large or small your contribution is, it will go a long way to doing just that, stopping the extinction of this remarkable bird.